This has infuriated me for the longest time. So for the longest time, I've been wanting to dive deep into the world of creating Ableton tutorials. This channel was built on creating Logic tutorials, but I switched from Logic to Ableton a couple of years ago. But ever since then, I don't know whether it's Ableton or whether it's Windows, but for some reason, a lot of the screen capture softwares that are out there make it really, really hard for you to actually record the master channel of Ableton. So you can actually hear what's being played in the session and not have to do any of this exporting what you may have played during that screen capture sort of session and adding it as audio later. Who the fuck wants to do that? No sir, not me. So after hours of researching, I finally found a solution. And the best thing is, it's free. So if you're a producer and you want to start making Ableton tutorials and you use a Windows based machine, you're using Ableton, and this probably applies to the other doors out there, but I cannot confirm that. There's a couple of things that you're gonna need. One your door, two, a computer, three, a plugin called Restream, and four, OBS Studio. So to get this started, first you're gonna head over to rear.fm slash rear plugins, and what you're gonna be presented with is this page, I will bung that address down in the description below, or you can click up here. And you're gonna download this suite of plugins. It's a whole suite of plugins. Now you've got two options, either a 32-bit version of all of the plugins or you've got a 64-bit version of the plugins. Yes, the last time that they were updated was January 2nd, 2016, but they still work. And within that suite of plugin, you're gonna get a whole bunch of different sort of plugins. You're gonna get a compressor, a couple of compressors actually, a delay and things like that, EQ and real, I can't even say that. Um, a gate and so forth and so forth but the one that you want to pay attention to and the one that is the most important to actually do this is uh, is Restream. This is the plugin that you're going to need in order to actually record the master channel of Ableton or whatever door that you're working with. So if you head up to the top of the page and go to obviously the download section, so depending on your, your machine, whether it's a 32-bit machine or whether it's a 64-bit machine, you will need to download um, either options based on your setup. And the next place that you wanna go to is obsproject.com. Now this is the actual software that is going to uh, record your screen for you. If you don't know what it is already, that's your fault it's quite famous and from here when you're on the website you'll just want to select um, the version of the uh, of the software that you'll need based off of the operating system that you're that you're using um, for instance obviously we're doing this for windows so we would download the windows version of obs so once you've downloaded both restream and obs studio what you'll first want to do to obviously set this up is boot up OBS Studio and when you first boot up OBS Studio you'll be presented with a screen sort of similar to this um, this may be sort of slightly different depending on the, the time that you're you know watching this video but the basic thing that you will need is that if you head down here to the little plus sign under sources you will have a, a whole bunch of different options here but what first you'll want to do is to set up a display capture and just save that now OBS should be able to detect how many screens you have. I, for instance, have two, so I have a primary and a secondary. And as you can see from the uh, display uh, capture uh, filter that we've just added on to the sources channel, um, OBS has detected both of those screens right here. Now, depending on what screen it is that you'll want to record, you'll select that here. So for instance, if I select my uh, primary monitor, there's my sort of primary monitor. I can then come out of this because I've already got it set up. Um, I'll take off that display capture sort of setting for now, simply because I've already done it. The second thing that you'll need within the sources section is an audio output capture. There's an add an audio output capture. What you will want to do again is to head down to the add uh, sources section. So the little plus sign at the bottom, hit that and head up to audio output capture. Click that. Uh, you can rename that to whatever you want. For instance, in my uh, current setup, it's just set to the default of the audio output sort of capture. So it's adding a two to the end of it because I've already got one. Now, once again, uh, you can just sort of click through this and click OK. Now, where the magic sort of happens, where you can sort of apply uh, Restream uh, to this is by going to the filters and going to, it should be under VS2 uh, plugin. In this section right here, this is where Restream um, uh, lives. So you'll just want to add Restream dash standalone. Even open that up. And now you can go ahead 
and and close that that will be your audio uh, section set up so to get Ableton working with OBS studio the next thing that we we'll want to do is head over into Ableton and open up our master channel and as you can see I've already applied the restream standalone plugin right here so if I open that up not do that if I open this up you notice there's a couple of options here and all of these plugins that within this this plugin suite all look like that they were designed in 2006 they probably first initially were and nothing's happened to them since but it's not what they look like it's what they do that counts so just to walk you through the setup here and how to sort of like configure this now you've already got it configured within OBS studio so if you've got that up at the same sort of time here's what you want to do now the identifier that can be left as default and and clicked on enabled you've got a couple of options here is to receive audio slash MIDI basically what you'll want to do is click onto this option send audio slash MIDI and click on this little downward arrow right here and you want to do sort of a local uh, broadcast so from here I've already imported in the audio file of a demo beat from our latest sample pack dark drill melodies pause for a second for product placement now that you've got that set up within Ableton we should be able to go into the actual uh, arrange view and see if it's actually picking up any audio to be working now just to bring OBS studio over into sort of the screen and create this little vortex window let's just play it in here just to show you that all of the uh, audio signals are being um, received as you can tell this is the uh, this is the audio signal right here that is pretty much it that is how we set it up and just to prove that this is actually working what I'm gonna do is for a second I'm going to uh, stop that current recording head over to our second screen start recording and if you just click uh, file and then show recordings it will go sh straight to where it's dumped uh, the the videos uh, so we head over to that one and just sort of listen through obviously we don't want to see all of it because I've been recording the entire sort of screen and there it is next out of that so overall that's how you record the master channel of Ableton or any other door that this will work in using Restream standalone and OBS Studio. So if you want to start creating tutorials, you use Windows and you was having the same trouble that I've sort of previously sort of explained. This is how you can get around most paid screen capture softwares not working with Ableton for some reason. If I've missed something, please do roast me down in the comments. But I'm assuming that if you found this video, you're probably having the same sort of problem as I am. Um, yeah, that's it. Like and subscribe.